What's up guys, we're going to go over Hunger Strike by Temple of the Dog off the album from 1990. Alright guys, we're going to go over the intro and verse part of this song, which involves a lot of single picking, and uh, it's a pattern that repeats itself over and over throughout the intro and the verse. Um, all the strings you're going to use are the B, the G, and the D, that's the second, third, and fourth strings up, okay? And the first four picks are all open, alright, so you go on the fourth string, Pick it, third pick it, second pick, then back to the third. Okay? So that's the first four picks. After that, you're going to do a pull off on the third fret of the B string. Okay? Then after you do that, you pick back up on the G, third string up, then back down on the B with your finger on the third fret. Okay, so from the top. Just like that. Now what you're going to do is repeat that whole part over only when you start again. You're going to use the second fret, fourth string up, of the D string. Okay, so instead of hitting, hitting it open, you're going to hit this um, fret. Okay, and after you hit the second fret, you repeat that pattern again, starting with the open on the fourth string. Okay? All right, the fourth time through the pattern, you're going to totally skip the fourth string note. Okay, so you're not going to do anything open or on the second fret of the fourth string. You're going to start on the third string, G string, and it's open. Then go to the B open, then back to the G open. Okay, so starting with the third string. All right. Then you're going to put your first finger on the third fret of the B string, do that pull off again. Go back to the open G, then back to the third fret. You start over again, starting with the open D. Okay, and then the second time through, you hit that second fret, four string up. Then third time through, open on the fourth. Okay, then fourth time through, you skip that fourth string and go right to the third. All right, I just want to go over the picking pattern with the right hand slowly, starting with the open D. and then that repeats. Alright guys, we're going to go over the chorus and the bridge. Alright guys, now we're going to go over the bridge which leads into the chorus. You're going to use the 5th and 6th strings up, the A and the E string. To start out, you're just going to strum those two strings open. 
Then on the third strum, you're going to put your first finger on the second fret of the fifth string and strum once. Then open again on the fourth strum on the A and the E, fifth and sixth. So you're going to strum twice, third time, fourth time. Okay? After you do that, you're going to go to the seventh fret of the fifth string, the A string, and you're going to do a bend. Okay, and when you pick, you're going to bend down, up, down, and then back up again. Okay, with just one pick. Okay? Also, sometimes I think I hear a note before you do the bend, and usually I do that on the fifth fret of the A string. So after you do the... You, you can go over to the fifth and do a little pick before you do the bend. Alright guys, now we're going to go over the chorus part where Cornell and Vetter sing like a kind of duet and uh, they're singing that they're hungry over and over. Um, and what you're going to do is uh, another arpeggiation pattern that's similar to the intro. Um, and that repeats over and over. So you're going to start out with the open G. Then you're going to put your first finger on the second fret of the G string. Then open G again. Then you're going to do that pull off on the third fret of the B string, second string up. Open G again. Then third fret. Put your finger on the B string, second string up. And that repeats over and over, okay? Then it goes back to... Alright?